Hi students, today we will discuss on the mouse. You can see a picture of the mouse Billy. The topic we will be discussing today is found in the book of grade 1. So, what is a mouse? A mouse is a computer component. What I mean by computer component, I mean that it forms part of your computer. What does the mouse allow you to do? It allows you to move around the screen. You can move to the upper side of your screen to the lower side, to the left side, and to the right side. I, therefore, you can move around your screen. Secondly, you can click. You can click on a tab, you can click on an image, you can click on an icon. Or, you can also change the location of an icon from one place to another. I mean, if your icon is found on the left side of the screen, you want to move it to the right side, you can also move it with the use of the mouse. The process of changing location of an icon is called drag and drop. Now let's look at the parts of the mouse. What are the different parts of the mouse? There is the right button, the left button and the scroll button. Now how do you know which one is the right button and which one is the left button. You must turn yourself in the direction of the mouse. Then look at the direction of your right hand. Your right hand will point to the green button. Therefore, the green button will be the right button. Your left hand will point to the red button. Therefore, the red button will be the left button. Now, let's look at the purpose, the use of the scroll button. For example, I have a document of five pages. I am on my first page. I want to go to the second page. Therefore, I must press on the scroll button and move downwards. If I am on my fifth page, I want to go to the third page. Therefore, you must press on the scroll button and move upwards. Ça. Les deux côtés. Gauche. Left side. Ça veut dire left button. Le côté d'aller. Right button. Allez, un les doigts. Mettez un les doigts l'eau. Left button. Un les doigts l'eau. Right button. Éclairez du côté. I hope you have seen this video, it shows how we must hold the mouse properly. You can make your child understand better. Make him place a finger on the left button, one another finger on the right button and the rest of the fingers on the side of the mouse. When he is putting his fingers on the mouse, tell him not to press or just put it.
just place his fingers and not pressing the keys hardly. Okay, this is the right method of holding the mouse. Then you can make him move the mouse around. When he has to press on the scroll button, then he can lift one of the fingers, either the right or the left, only one of them, and place it on the scroll button. Now, how will I know that my mouse is moving? When you are moving your mouse, the pointer will also move together. Let's look at an example for you to better understand. If you move your mouse upwards, the mouse will move upwards. If you move your mouse to the right, the pointer will move to the right. If you move your mouse to the left, the pointer will move to the left. If you move your mouse to the lower side, it will move to the lower side. Therefore, any direction you are moving your mouse, the pointer will also move in that direction. Now, let's work an activity. Using the mouse to point at pictures, I will open the activity mouse over one. And we will work the questions together. I use the mouse to move the pointer. You must use your mouse to move your pointer. Number two, I put the pointer on the picture horse. And then look which word appears. Tiger or here is my pointer. I bring it on the picture horse. Which word appeared? Horse. Therefore, the answer is horse. We should put a tick near the word horse. Here, I put a tick near the word horse. Next, I put the pointer on the picture dog. And then I tick on the word which appears, bird or dog. Let's look again. I bring my mouse on the horse. I obtain horse. I bring my mouse on the picture dog. I obtain the word dog. Therefore, which word appeared when I brought the pointer on the picture dog? It's the word dog. Therefore, I put a tick near the word dog. Next exercise. Using the mouse to point at shapes, I will open mouse over to activity. 
I use the mouse to move the pointer. I put the pointer on the shape triangle. Then I tick the color of that the triangle I see and I put the pointer on the red triangle and see the word which appears. Let's work it together. We must bring our mouse on the shape triangle. Here is my mouse. I bring it on the shape triangle. What is the color of the triangle? Red. Therefore, I must choose the answer red over here. Let's put our answer. The color of the triangle was red. I put my answer. Then I must bring my pointer on the red triangle and observe which word appears. I do it again. My mouse is here. I bring it on the triangle. I see a red triangle. I bring my mouse over the triangle. What word appears? The word triangle. Which word appears? The word triangle. Therefore, I put a tick near the word triangle. Now, number six, I put the pointer on the shape a rectangle. I see which color appears, which color of rectangle. I put my pointer on the shape of the blue rectangle and observe what word appears and then I put a tick near the answer. Let's work it out. My mouse is here. I bring it on the shape rectangle. The color is Blue. I must put a tick near at the answer. Blue. I bring my mouse over the rectangle. Which word appears? The word rectangle. Therefore, I put my answer. The color of the rectangle was blue. I put a tick near blue. The word which appeared was rectangle. Therefore, I put a tick near rectangle. I hope you have understood this lesson. And you will show your child how. To hold the mouse, what is a mouse, what can we do with a mouse, and how to move the mouse in different directions. Let's do a recap. Mouse forms part of the computer. 
I must hold the mouse and place the fing on it two fingers on the keys and the rest on the two sides. What can we do with the mouse? I can move around my screen. I can click. I can do drag and drop. When you are moving your mouse, you will see the pointer moving to get the. I hope you have understood this les lesson and thank you for your attention.